Hello and welcome to Solid Cat. Today we are going to make this simple part. I download it from Pinterest. You can download it also. I give it in the description the link. You can download it if you want. So this is the part. This is the V block clamp and the bolt. V block is 60 by 60 by 100, and uh, there are a few cuts here and uh, we'll go through it in the SOLIDWORKS let's start drawing I will take my own on the front plane I will draw a sketch center rectangle make these two equal so we have to make dimension it only one side okay extrude it we'll take the mid plane 100 millimeter it's okay on this plane face I will draw a couple of sketches and a few center lines this is 24 millimeter as per drawing and from bottom it is also 24 millimeter so this will be 12 this is 6 millimeter sketch is fully defined we are ready to mirror it mirror all this around this we'll drop a few more sketches in here like this 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 and this should be symmetrical equal equal is not right we'll first we will close this sketch and give it dimensions 40 millimeter 50 millimeter and height is 20 millimeter and from here to here it is 50 the sketch is fully defined we will mirror it all these entities about this line now we are ready to extrude cut it through all okay now the part is ready I will get give the, here chamfers these are necessary for fitting and sliding purpose is these are not given in the drawing but I will give it here because it is necessary it is good practice the part is complete we'll save it as V block save I will go for go ahead and make another part which is clamp I will draw a couple of circles here draw a center line which must be Uh, yes it's okay I will trim it draw a rectangle here make this coincident it's 24 millimeter and 
and we need to give some more sketches here this is 36 mm this is 16 as per drawing this is 10 this is 12 and total length is 80 mm and the radius of these are 36 and 24 like so and we will final dimension of 24 mm which will fully define the sketch i will trim sketch is fully defined we'll mirror these entities are uh, about this line and so okay there is a problem the sketch is now fully defined we we'll extrude it up to 20 mm but we will take mid plane on this face i will draw a circle for tap of 12 mm we'll take 10.8 mm hole for 12 mm and 1.5 pitch tap and cut it through all give it a chamfer of 1 mm Okay. I will fill it it fill it this 4 mm. This is according to drawing. Okay. Then we will chamfer it. of 0.5 okay we'll give chamfer a few more chamfer separately here and finally there this is okay it looks good i will go to thread feature i will select this and this i will take blind 22 mm metric tab 12 and 1.5 is okay everything looks good cut thread okay now the thread is complete and the parts is part is also complete we'll save it clamp we'll i'll go ahead and make another part the screw the final part of the screw for the front plane I will draw a center line draw sketches
if you go this side of this center line it will show you diameter if you go away from this it will show you the radius but I will go for diameter which is 12 millimeter and 24 millimeter which is okay total length is 100 millimeter and this is 20 millimeter sketch is fully defined now we will revolve it revolve base boss I will give here chamfer of 1 millimeter and also here now it's time to thread thread I will select this on the second I will select this up to selection and I will take this face for selection metric tab not metric die 12 m12 and 1.5 it's okay everything looks good the thread is complete on the front plane I will draw a circle of 5 millimeter for handle not 50 sorry 5 millimeter these are 10 millimeter and this is these two are horizontal sketch is fully defined I will cut it through all both now the part is complete I will save it bolt save now we'll go for assembly here is a point to remember if you simply okay this it will the blo block the VV block will automatically our part will automatically align with the origin and all the planes will align uh, with the with the part of this document so we will we don't do anything just click OK and everything is everything will be on its place now I will bring the another part the clamp give it the advanced mate, width mate, this, this and this and standard mates, coincident mate, this, this and this okay there is one another mate which is a distance mate uh, from this face to this face 60 millimeter according to drawing I'll show you one thing this is where I chamfered it it is easy to insert this part into this slide and slide this part into this cavity in the slot uh, now I will uh, bring the bolt in here mate With only reference we have is this exit out of it and 
make it okay I'm doing this to adjust the these are also already adjusted but I need to this this is okay now I will give it a mate mechanical mate clear selection screw mate I will select this face and this face now the mate is complete okay that and come out of this section view the bolt is moving working I will give it motion study and animation simple one okay and I will calculate this you can see it's going up and down Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.